Hi everyone, I'm Rebecca Keppel. I'm here for Thermoweb today on their YouTube channel. I'm excited to bring you a new technique using the Gina K designs for Thermoweb foil mates and foil mates detail sheets. We're gonna do a little bit of watercoloring on them. So instead of stamp and foil, we're gonna do watercolor and foil. Basically, first I'm going to start with the foil mates. I'm cutting out some of the details and I'm going to cut away the ones that I'm going to use today. So I definitely want to use those leaves and I want to use the open flowers because I'm going to foil the outside and then watercolor on the inside. The foil will act as a resist. I'm going to create my sandwich for my foiling of the foil mates. I have a piece of cardstock, then a parchment paper sandwich, and then my foil mate with the toner side facing me and the foil side with the color facing me. I have my laminator which I have heated up a lot. It's really nice and piping hot and I'm going to run that through. I also foiled some of these leaves. You can see that the foil adheres to any spots that had the toner on them. The next thing I'm going to do is use some Distress inks to watercolor. You could use any watercolors that you have. You could use watercolor cakes, you could use liquid watercolors. I like using Distress inks because I know the colors really well and I know which color combinations work for me. The only tip that I would give you here is not to use a lot of water because the foil mates are not on watercolor paper. So the foil mates can only hold a certain amount of water and you'll know you've gone too far when they start to kind of uh, peel away a little bit or rub away parts of the paper. So then you've used too much and just try and pull it back a little bit and use less next time. I just used a little bit of color to add some color to this flower and you can see I have a multicolor petal now. I also used watercolors to just swipe some color on some foiled backgrounds here. And either way, whether you are doing real detail work on the inside of the foiled foil mate detail or just swiping on color on a foil mate background, you get a totally different look than if you're doing the stamp and foil, which is really fun because then you have more bang for your buck in using those foil mates. So it's just another way to color some of that white paper that the foil mates are printed on. And like I said, the only condition is don't use a ton of water. You can see here, I'm using a decent amount of water to get it to move around but I don't want to use too much and ruin the paper. And you can see that the foil details act as a resist. Some of those foil mates did warp a little bit. That is okay because I'm going to mount them onto some Gina K Designs cardstock. So I'm cutting my colorful cardstock down to four and a quarter by five and a half, and I'm going to have lots of coordinating colors to work with the foil mates. Then I'm going to trim those foil mates down to four by five and a quarter and some of them I'll just trim down to four by five and a half just depending on the look that I want from matting them on the cardstock. Next I'm going to use the Thermoweb's Memory Runner XL and you can see I put a ton of adhesive on the back. I really want to make sure all the edges are covered with adhesive and that is going to adhere it to the cardstock nice and straight and then you won't even know that they had warped with the watercolor. So here's a bunch of card panels that I created. They all have foiling and watercolor on them and I love that look combining those two. I also wanted to die cut some of the foil mate details that I watercolored. So I'm grabbing the coordinating dies that Gina K Designs for Thermoweb has and then some Thermoweb purple tape. And I'm gonna temporarily adhere the die to the foil mate detail sheet with the purple tape and run it through my Sizzix machine. That will give me, again, a little bit of border around that foiling line and then the watercolor on the inside. And again, that foil acts as a resist. So you can wipe away any color that added on top of the foil. Now I'm gonna use some of that coordinating cardstock. I die cut an oval, a rectangle, and a circle with the Gina K Designs for Thermoweb stitched dies. And now I'm just gonna plan my cards with my little pieces of the detail sheets as well. 
So I have a couple of happy birthday cards. And then for this floral card, I'm gonna grab the stamp set from Where Flowers Bloom and stamp it in a coordinating Gina K Designs for Thermoweb ink. And then I'm going to start layering up those little details. And I'm using Thermoweb's Memory Runner XL to adhere everything except for this last little flower that I wanted to pop up with a 3D Zot. For the pink card, I'm going to use the Gina K Designs Bubblegum Ink to stamp on top of the bubblegum cardstock for a tone on tone look, which I think helps to not make it too busy, included with the watercolor and foiled background. So I'm gonna use some of those foiled balloons, the little foiled happy birthday sign, and I'm gonna do something very similar on the blue birthday card. This time I've die cut a rectangle and I'm going to stamp with the Genie K Designs Blue Raspberry Ink. So it's a darker color on top of the lighter cardstock, but I like both looks. I think they're both really fun. I'm gonna use the Memory Runner XL again to adhere some of these foil balloons and the banner. And then I'm gonna pop a couple up on the Thermoweb 3D Zots, which you get perfect dimension for, and the Thermoweb 3D Zots are clear, so you don't see them from the back. I'm gonna take some Gina K Designs for Thermoweb white cardstock in eight and a half by 11, cut it in half and then score it in half. So these are four and a quarter by five and a half inch top folding note cards. I'm gonna use the Memory Runner XL to adhere all of my card panels down. And that completes three different cards using this really fun foil and watercolor resist technique. I hope you, that you will give it a try. It's a lot of fun, super easy to do as well. Well, if you're interested in the supplies that I use today, they'll all be linked down below. And I want to thank you so much for stopping by today. Have a wonderful day.